everybody? This is Scanna Comic Book Hangover. Uh, yet another collection video. This is going to be a little bit different. I'm not doing comic books this time. Uh, I'm just going to go through real quickly my um, and share my rather small and humble magazine collection. Uh, you'll see kind of a theme of what the kind of magazines that I like to get, um, of course. So we're just going to jump into it. Not all of these are going to be magazines. For example, I have uh, the original Haunt of Fear number 14. Good old EC comic, a great uh, Ghastly Graham cover. And a uh, Tales from the Crypt, number 22, a rather beat up cover, but still, it's mine. I have an original EC, Tales from the Crypt. Um, these ones, they don't fit in my comic book drawer boxes, so I've decided, well, why not just um, put them in my magazines? So, uh, also, not a magazine, the uh, 1999 Chaos Comics calendar. I came across this, I mean, it's... Not in absolute perfect condition. You can see there's some ticks on the on the uh, the spine up there, but still, overall, it is in good condition, and I'm surprised I still have it. Hey, look at that! Arrested Development magnets. Arsenic lullaby, the big stall. I'm a I'm a big fan of arsenic arsenic lullabies. I I get all these. I love them all. They're so if you like sick and twisted, um, dark, very dark humor, that. Um, isn't isn't for the fan at heart and also um just kind of gets in your face with just how dark it can be that's for you um it's a magazine an avengers magazine i'm not sure where i got it from or why batman damned first print jim lee cover and there's a second issue and there's the most recent release the third issue there's that bill mckay I shared that on Signature Sunday last week. The other Bill McKay, still covered up. Death of Captain Marvel graphic novel. I couldn't tell you what printing that is. And here is a uh, Detroit Fanfare 2010 um, magazine. This is the, um, I don't know, you get these at every show. It kind of tells you who's going to be there and whatnot. Uh, this one I kept. It's got Stan Lee on the cover. Uh, this is the show that he was at where I got to meet him, picture taken, all that fun stuff. Uh, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark Magazine. Great cover. And there's a one-sheet advertisement for Evil Ernie through Eternity Comics. They're uh, pre-Chaos Days. There's uh, Evil Ernie... Uh, who is this one? Uh, Pieces of Me. This is the script. Chaos would actually put out and sell the scripts for the books, which is kind of cool. Famous Monsters of Filmland. My mom got this for me for my birthday uh, about two years ago. This is issue 59. Barnabas Collins, Dark Shadows. Love Dark Shadows. Fangoria, the original number one. I actually was going to take this to Motor City Comic Con, um, what, two years ago, and get assigned the uh, the actor that was in the outfit, outfit for the original Godzilla movie was going to be there. I was going to get it signed, and I was going to be so happy, but... Shortly before the show, like two weeks before the show, he passed away, and so I was never able to get it signed. Fango, number 14. Fango, number 19. So we're just going to do, here's some more Fangos. This is like 49 and 50, one of my favorite covers. God, I'm a huge Freddy Krueger fan. I love Freddy. That Evil Dead 2, some good stuff there. Some Lost Boys, a little bit of Hellraiser, some good stuff. I, I miss I miss this day these days of horror. Like Critters Two, Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven, Fright Night Part Two, <laughs> The Blob. We got Freddy Krueger and Elvira on the same cover. Awesome. Pinhead. There's Freddy from Nightmare Four, and Waxwork. Waxwork's a great movie too. There's a Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. There's a Child's Play. Nice. Good stuff. Nightmare 5, Friday 8. Poor Friday 8. Could have been so much better than what it was. And there's another Fango. Look at that. Nightbreed. Great cover. Great, uh, great movie, too. Then the 100th issue of Fangoria. Original run. Here's a cool one. Uh, Fangoria, number 108. It's got People Under the Stairs. It's got The Addams Family, Basket Case, and look at that, Evil Ernie. Comics Teen Terror. Read about Freddy Krueger there from Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. This was, uh, 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 this is actually where I found out about Evil Ernie. 
was that that very issue. Um, they uh, did a preview for it. They did an interview with Brian Polito, and it was it, it hooked me, and I've been with it ever since. Uh, this issue here, issue 110, with Pinhead on the cover, uh, is one that I will always own. I wrote a letter to Fangoria, and this is the issue in which it was published in. So, in a way, you could say I'm a published writer. Another Army of Darkness. This is where it kind of got weird. Uh, you got Batman Returns, but then look at that. Uh, Midnight Suns with Ghost Rider. It's kind of cool. And yeah, so their covers got kind of not what I like. So I didn't really, I'm not really interested in the higher issues, higher issue numbers, so. Alright, so that's that. And then they brought it back with a new number one. I wound up grabbing this one. This is a thick bugger. Almost $20 cover price. It was crazy. Uh, then there's the poster magazine. It does have all the posters in it. I got that off of um, Etsy, I think. Somebody had it on Etsy. It's one I grabbed off of a local uh, local auction. That's um Official uh, magazine for wrestling. American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Gotta love it. Foom number one, just because. Freddy's, uh, there's the Freddy Krueger's A Nightmare on Elm Street uh, comics magazine. Marvel put out two issues for. And of course I have both issues. G-Fan. And G-Fan of course is where that Godzilla poster came from that I, had, that I showed a couple of weeks ago. Gore Zone number one. This is the, from the uh, the gory or gory glory days of horror when you had multiple horror movie magazines. It was great. I was collecting Gore Zone, Fangoria, Toxic Horror, Slaughterhouse when I could find it. Loved every minute of it. Ah, Howard the Duck magazine. Uh, this one. It took me the longest time to get all of these because they're they're a little harder to find than uh, than you would expect. So, I was finally able to get them uh, at a lot off of eBay, I believe. So, I finally have them all. Love that cover. Jack Davis. Shoe four. Shoe five. Six. Look at that. That is beautiful. That's a, that's a John Pound cover. Uh, John Pound is um, one of the more prolific Garbage Pail Kids artists. So it's kind of cool to have a Garbage Pail Kid artist doing uh, covers for the Howard the Duck magazine. This is also a John Pound piece. Another Howard the Duck. This is another script, Lady Death Crucible, number one script. The only Life magazine I'll ever own. One of the few Mad magazines that I own. Along with that one, this is when they started being less funny. Marvel magazine of celebrating 75 years. Wow, it's been five years already. Doing their 80th now. Some Marvel previews with Star Lord. I know I have a couple of these. Okay, not in the best of condition, but still, that one's pretty tore up. I wonder if a pressing would help with that one. I always like that cover. I don't know. Howard the Duck. This is the Marvel Super Special Howard the Duck adapting the movie. Purgatory Vampire's Myth script. Retro magazine, retro fan magazine. Those, my uh, LCS had this on their counter. I saw my favorite lady in horror. Had to buy it. Speaking of Slaughterhouse, there's a Slaughterhouse. My favorite Slaughterhouse magazine cover. Almost done here, folks. Tomb of Dracula magazine number two. I forgot I had these. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been this far into my collection. Too Much Coffee Man uh, magazine number 20. Uh, this one has an interview with um, uh, the the uh, the creator of Arsenic Lullabies, and also a Bruce Campbell interview. Some good stuff. Hey, look at that Toxic Horror, number one. And finally, uh, Marvel Heroes magazine uh, with Death's Head. Uh, this one I got from um, got from a guy on um, online that I've talked to. He was over in England. That's a British magazine. So he was able to get me a copy of it and just mailed it to me. Uh, it was really awesome of him. I wish I could remember his name, but it's been you know quite a number of years since I've had this. But uh, it's it's a great little magazine. It was nice to see Death's Head. So anyway, there's my magazine collection. I was able to get this done in under 10 minutes. Cutting it awful close. So I'm going to end this now before it actually becomes 10 minutes. We'll see you guys next time.